In today's video, we're checking out this Gibson 61 standard SG. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. You were listening to the Gibson SG61 standard. Let's take a look. Here's the Gibson 61 SG standard up close. I love how light this is compared to say one of their Les Paul models. No doubt about it, this just feels really, really comfortable weight wise. We get a gloss nitrocellulose lacquer over a mahogany body and neck and check out the grain. It looks really, really beautiful. This is a 22 fret guitar and it has a 12 inch fretboard radius and the frets are medium jumbo. I love Gibson frets, some of my favorite out there. Not only do we get binding on the side of the neck, but we get the trapezoid acrylic inlays. When it comes to the pickup selection, we get a Burst Bucker 61R in the neck and a Burst Bucker 61T in the bridge. Burst Buckers are some of my favorite pickups from Gibson. We get a conventional three-way toggle switch, no push pull pots or anything like that. We go from neck, to both pickups and bridge pickup on its own. Here's the headstock up close. We get a Graftech nut and we also get the vintage style tuners. Included, we also get a five ply pick guard as well as a really cool hard case. Firstly, a massive thank you to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia for letting me borrow this guitar. It's really, really cool. If you're a fan of the SG, I'll tell you'll get a kick out of this. I'll leave links to Sky Music in the description. And if you live outside of Australia, I'll leave some Toman and Sweetwater links down there so you can see how much it is in your part of the world. So this particular instrument has a lot going for it just in terms you know, of weight, the way it feels, the sound of the pickups, all that kind of stuff. And it will be aimed obviously at someone who likes to rock or someone who likes to play slide. So I added a little bit of slide there in that intro track, I hope you like that. And we're gonna test this out with a few different tones. Let's get into it. Let's kick it off today, I'm plugged into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier on the crunch channel to begin with. And then we'll try some clean tones. If you wanna skip ahead, I'll leave some time codes down below. So this is bridge pickup with the crunch channel up at 12 o'clock. So plenty of attitude. Let's go over to neck pickup. I'm gonna start with the volume control down a little bit. So as you can see, working the volume control is very, very dynamic. Now over to both pickups with both volumes to start with all the way up. Yeah. 
And now with the neck pickup just down a hair, cleans up a little bit more. So yeah, you get a more voicey tone with the neck pickup just down a little bit, just retaining that clarity. I really dig it. Let's try some clean channel tones now, starting on the neck pickup. Beautiful sort of just, I guess the humbuckers are kind of pushing the amp just a little bit over the edge there. Now over to both pickups. Yeah, I think both pickups on this is probably my favorite combination and over to bridge. Yeah, all right. And now over to the ultra gain channel on the Marshall. This will sound huge. So I've got some delay going through the effects loop, which is the crazy tube circuits time delay. Let's give this a shot starting on the bridge pickup. Over to neck, but I'm going to start with the volume down. All right, now over to both pickups with the neck pickup just down a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, folks. A massive thank you again to Sky Music for letting me borrow this in Melbourne, Australia. If you live in Australia, check them out. Links will be below. And if you live overseas, you can support the channel by using the Toman and Sweetwater links down there as well. Now, in terms of what my thoughts are about this, I really love it on bridge pickup and both pickups with the neck down a little bit. The neck pickup is a little more woolly than I would have thought it would have been on this particular model. It sounds full and warm and, and fat, but it lacks maybe the clarity that I'm used to on Gibson humbuckers. Now I have a couple of Gibson guitars and the, my Flying V, the neck pickup feels a little more chirpy to my ear than this one. So it's all personal preference, but depending on your amplifier setup and the way you dial it in, you'll probably get vastly different sounds to what I get out of this guitar. But Clean I still think it sounded great as well. Good for that bluesy tone. They're very versatile instruments and super light as well. It's got a lot going for it just in terms of the binding and just, yeah, it looks like a really beautiful instrument. Check it out. So yeah, if you want to find out more about this, links will be below. Thanks for watching. And if you missed my last Gibson SG review, I'll leave a link up in the cards and you can check that one out and compare it to this one. I use the same backing track on purpose. So thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.